Are you in the market to upgrade your webcam? I looked into purchasing a camera, but they are so expensive. Not only do you have to buy the body of the camera, you also have to purchase the lens to get the best quality out of it. So that's not within my budget. Well, I found a 4K Ultra HD webcam by Logitech, the MX Brio. I just love the webcam because you'll see the differences in these images. This camera snapshot is Logitech's 4K Pro webcam. That's what I was using before. And look how noticeably different that this image is. It's sharper. The color temperature and the brightness is more correct. And, you know, a lot of that contrast is out of the images as well. Well, in this video, I will unbox the Logitech MX Brio webcam and let's put it to the test. Let's get started. Okay, I do want you to know that I am recording on my old webcam because I want to unbox this new MX Brio. I want to say Max, but it's MX Brio. And notice the packaging. It is FSC certified, meaning that it's going to be really beneficial to the environment and economic benefits. And if we take it out, notice here we are. So it's about, you know, four inches wide, two inches in depth, as well as in height. It does weigh about six um, ounces, which is two, um, three times more than what a standard webcam or what the old webcam had weighed. So it has a little bit of weight to it and it's really, you know, has this aluminum finish. 82% of it is um, recyclable plastic. And again, um, has some weight and very durable and it feels nice. I don't see fingerprints on it, so that's good. I do like the fact that the privacy shutter, you just switch, you turn it on and off. It's not like the plastic flaps that we used to have that would fall off and I could never find them. So that is good. It's actually protecting. It says 8.5 um, image sensor and it's Sony. So that's good because it was a great um, buying factor for me because I wanted a Sony camera and just could could not afford it um, right now. So the fact that it's associated with Sony was a good selling point for if I take this off, notice I'm struggling because this piece in the middle here is a magnet. So that's what's holding this into place and it snaps on. Listen, did you hear it snap? And because you can actually use this where if you need to, to record your keyboard, you can. You can, you know, set it up you can turn it left and right so that's good the removable um, clamp easily can fit on a laptop um, as well as a monitor so that's really nice on the back here this is where you actually connect your usb c cable. Um, I'm glad it was not a A and it's C on both ends. I was glad to see that it was not the standard UBS A connector because I have run out of ports on my computer. So that worked out as well. So now let's see this camera in action. Okay, I'm still recording with my old webcam. And the first thing that you want to do is visit Logitech's website and install the Logitune software so you can manage your settings. So click on support or hover over support, click on Logitune. What you see is it will support Windows PCs as well as Mac PCs. And if you want to download to any of your mobile devices, you have that available to you as well. So I've already have this installed and um, so go ahead and take care of that. 
I want you to be aware of that there's two versions of the MX Rio. One is for the consumers or individuals, which is the Master Series, and the other one is the 705 for business. What's the difference? The performance and everything else is the same. For consumers, you can choose between three different colors of the device. And for the 705 for business, that it comes with additional software, Logitech Sync, which allows your IT department to manage and deploy the software across the whole entire organization. That's the only difference. These devices are compatible with Windows 10 or later, Max operating system 10.15 or later, Chrome's operating systems, Linux. It is certified for Microsoft Teams, Zoom, Google Meet, and works with the Chromebooks and Streamlab. Let's launch the application. In the search panel, type in Logitune. You have a couple ways to launch it. You can just click on this icon here or click on open. I like to remind you, if you're gonna change your settings and use this application often, make sure you either pin it to start or pin it to your taskbar like what I've done so you have easy access to do so. I'm gonna go ahead and launch this application. Let's choose our device. And here is the Logitune console. I'm going to actually open up Teams so we'll go through all the settings just so you have a bigger screen to see the difference of the images. Okay, in Teams, let's turn on the camera and let's make sure, go ahead and turn off my background. This is what I was using before because I didn't have this to be really nice and crisp. Let's look at our settings and make sure that we have chosen the right camera. Here we are, MX Rio, so we have the correct camera. Just so you know, I have also turned off the soft um, focus just because I want you to see how nice and crisp this is. So let's join this call. Okay, so you can see the difference already once I launch Logitune, you can see that you can make these adjustments even while you are on the call. And so the first thing that you can do, I can focus on the Zoom. You do have the field of view 90%, 78% or 65%. Let's go back to 90 Notice that you have the new drag to zoom in and position your camera wherever you like. Some additional settings here down below, the show mode. I keep this enabled because this allows me to actually take the webcam and remember we i showed you earlier that you can have it tilt downward so you can take a screenshot of your keyboard right so keep that enabled you do have a built-in microphone and can make additional adjustments to your settings this is where you adjust the hdr you can, you know, make sure that your autofocus is on so you don't have to worry about it. And then you have some what I call camera settings, the auto exposure. I just let them choose the best for me. Low light. I will put an image up on the screen here that when you choose, you, if you have a low light setting, it will make the adjustments for you. So you can leave this turned on if you want. Again, this is a nice um, screenshot of what it will do. You have, um, you know, some control your temperature on compensation. Notice how it changes. I like to make sure that this matches whatever my um, professional lights are. You may not have to worry about all that, especially if you are in a office setting. 
control the brightness, contrast, saturation. If for video content creators, if you decide you want your video to be in grayscale, you can do that and you can play around what works best for you. Um, the vibrance, um, if you want to add a little bit of color into your skin tones, this is a little bit too red for me, but this is where you can control those settings. So mid-range usually is really good. And the sharpness, um, just so you know, um, if you go too far to the right, see how grainy it is? I'm going to look kind of aged here. Or if you um, turn it down, it could be um, really blurry and you're not getting the sharpness of um, your image. So very simple to manage. Okay, so what I really like is this right sight feature. If I enable this, notice how it moved and made sure that I was positioned in the center. This is saying that it's bringing me closer. If I choose further and hit the save, notice it's going to focus. And let me just move this out of the screen so you can see. So if I move, it will move. We can automatically raise our desk and make sure that we are still positioned where we need to be without worrying about the camera. Look at this camera here. Notice how it's cutting me off. Here, I don't have to worry about it. And if I move around, it will find me and make the proper adjustments. And if I go back on this side, again, it would find me. For the closure, I am finally using the Max Brio Master Series webcam. If you're interested in purchasing this versatile camera quality and performance webcam for streaming, conference calls, or content creations, the link is in the description. Now, go work your magic.